Today on Huffler Garage, we're going to be uh, replacing the cam follower and inspecting the cam. Um, the last time I did this, uh, this is what I found. Basically, the one on the left is new, and this is uh, what I found last time. Um, I wasn't having any fuel issues at the time, and so I just I put a new one in and didn't really worry that too much about it. There was wear on the fuel pump piston rod. Um, and maybe it's it's likely there's some cam wear. Uh, recently, I've I tuned it with a JHM Stage One tune, and through uh, an error code, I can't remember which one it was, but it was relating to the high pressure side. So, um, just kind of looking into that today and seeing what we find. And you can either start the car up and let it run with the with this solenoid disconnected, or you can just bleed it yourself. There's three bolts, one, two, and one down there that you have to take this, uh, the bleeder valve off. Um, I just, it's a T30 and I didn't have a T30 socket on a quarter inch uh, driver, so um, I just taped it up into a quarter inch socket. Um, if you're gonna do this a lot, which um, I'm probably gonna do it every 15,000 miles or so due to being tuned, uh, you might wanna go ahead and get the stud conversion kit from ECS tuning. You don't strip out your uh, your timing ca uh, chain case on the back. tight up it was off last time. 